What's going on guys? Jblader here back again doing another video on the channel. Today guys, episode 1 of the Mind Guard SMP. How excited are you guys? You know, I am super excited and I've already had a blast playing on here. So we started the server like any other server. We all got online and grouped up around the spawn and we did some little introductions and then we kind of went on our way and I headed over here to what is going to be my base location. Yeah, I'm sitting up in this uh, mega taiga biome with a ton of villagers here so I think this will be a great place to get started and so first thing first I wanted to uh, show those clips of us getting this game started and then getting to where I am now so I'm gonna go ahead and roll that footage and it's actually getting real I can see all you guys in Minecraft now wow, yeah this is as real as it gets they're real people. Oh, no you guys aren't just NPCs <laughs> I'm, just I'm just people on Discord. What? what? I'm so ready to punch this tree. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievably ready. You better not. You better not touch it. Not until we get the, the, He's the get... clear. No, I'm not. He's touching it. I'm not doing He's anything. So this is season one. Yeah. We're gonna launch. I think we're all ready here. Right? Yeah, we're good. Good go. I think. I think there's twelve. <laughs> all right, we're good. So anyway. Um, just to start the stream off and the, and the launch, just I'm super excited to get this going. I'm glad to meet all you guys. This is the first time we were really playing Minecraft together, right? Like all of us for the first time. So that's awesome. Yeah. So I just want to introduce yourself, say your favorite color and why, and we'll go from there. All right. So I'm I'm Hawk. My favorite color. <laughs> ah, is... I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh no. <laughs> hey, there's another one. There's another one. Oh my gosh. This is Don't pandemonium. Go... Don't burn. Don't burn. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god. Somebody has to be the first death, so if it's gotta be anybody, I accept the I accept that. So I said my favorite color was uh orange for the fire in your eyes, my friend. No. No. Oh. I guess I'm here Nafash is next. What's up, buddy? Nafash. Um Nafash, my favorite color is uh yellow. Yeah. Why why is it yellow? I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm dynamite, and I like red because it's I mean, it's the best color, undisputed. I would assume no, it's my actually, turn. I think it's KFC's me? turn. It's Rust, right? I I think it's KFC's turn. KFC, what's your oh, what's your favorite? favorite? Um, yeah, I'm KFC underscore Legends. Um, favorite color is teal. Fancy. Um, sometimes sometimes the guy just got like teal. Cool, cool, cool. All right, what's up, guys? I'm Jay Blader, and my favorite color is cyan. Cyan? Why? Why is it um, cyan? It's it's. What's the hex code? If you you're know, a real fan of it. Oh uh, wow, you know I I'm a graphic designer. I should know that one. Um, I I can give you the Pantone. Pantone 306, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it's a combination of blue and green. Both are great colors, you know. So, doesn't get any better. So you're trying basically to sneak in two colors. Right? He's better than us. Can uh, we burn him? I've already died, so you're going to have to pick someone else to sacrifice. Oh, I know. I'm so excited. Uh, my name is Ezio underscore Brooks, and my favorite color is red. As you can see, that's the only accent on my on my outfit. I've Next, never been yeah. known for my humor. So Next season, there will be a campfire. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, we need a campfire next season. <laughs> and, Wolverine, and Wolverine is not a color. Hello? <laughs> what happened? Uh, how, hello. All right, Goody, you go. Okay. Hey, my name is Goody. Um, my favorite color is actually red and black, but there's too much red in this uh, group, so black. Hi, I'm yeah. Allie. Uh, my favorite color is purple because oh. purple is for royalty. So. Oh wow! Well, we oh. have we have a purple ninja here. We have an actual good answer to why yeah. you like that color. Yeah. Wow! And Pur Allie's purple. a scientist. Allie purple. looks like a scientist. We, purple. We all know what your favorite color is. Purple. Uh, introduce yourself. Don't be shy. You're, you're muted, purple. Must be muted. She muted herself. Pressure's on. <laughs> Unmute yourself. <laughs> Everyone is waiting. 
<laughs> okay, cool. Well, that was great. Intro intro went wild. Wild. Put it in the chat. Oh man, that went well, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, go. Yeah, that went well. I'm gonna yeah, go find my one. Uh, Ali, 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 turn around, Ali, Ali. Watch your back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, free wood. <laughs> <laughs> we have a mini game. We have a mini game going on already. That the last person to die will get a block of diamonds from every single player. That's. I need bamboo. I mean, we're gonna oh. do the same location, so. Oh, are we? Well, yeah, Haki, I have a boat. You have a boat, dude? Yeah. All right, hold on, man. I'm coming. I need some of that sweet, sweet bamboo. You need silk touch to get turtle eggs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh shoot. Oh dang. Oh, yeah. Got killed by a drown. Drowned are so OP early with tridents. They are. If you hit if you get caught with a trident, oh my god, zombie dead. Creeper. Oh man. Yeah, we need to shop up in like tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'll sell wooden tools. Um, Good luck. I got that one called. <clears throat> I'll probably one... actually be your like main business partner. Well, it'll be one diamond for a wooden tool, so very... All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was a blast playing with these guys. They are uh, really nice, so it should be a lot of fun playing on here, and they all have, like, really big plans to do really big builds and stuff, so that is awesome. So the first thing I did when I came over here is started clearing out this area. You can see I collected some bamboo while we were in the jungle. That's going to be really useful. And then I'm starting just to smelt up stuff. I did find five diamonds, which, if you don't know, is, like, the perfect amount. It lets us get a diamond pickaxe, which we're going to use to mine some obsidian. We've got this, two more diamonds for an enchanting table, and then we'll need a book for an enchanting table. So we'll need that and three pieces of sugar cane. So we have everything to make an enchanting table, and this is going to propel us a little bit closer to this late game. So what I'm going to do now, you can see I'm just kind of chucking all my items into, uh, into chest right now. Um, but we're going to go through these items. I need to get a cow farm so that we can get some books. And with these books, we're going to be able to make uh, bookcases so that we can do higher levels of enchanting. I also need more iron because iron is just a really good early game resource and of course we need more diamonds. Also just going to be collecting the stone and stone variant so that we can build more stuff um, and maybe protect all the stuff here in the village that we want to protect like these guys. These guys are um, going to be very valuable because we're going to be doing some villager trading at some point so we're going to want to make villager breeders and all that stuff so I don't want them to die on us. So. That is something to take in consideration. But one of the first things I want to do, I think, is actually tear down the, this village and move these villagers into a central location. You can see they're they're attracted to these beds over here and to the bell. So we're going to be tearing out an area here and moving all these villagers into a breeding cell where we're going to be breeding them so that we can make iron farms, make villager trading halls, and all of that good stuff. But that is enough talking. It is time to actually get to some work. I'm going to be going down here and mining for a little bit. Let's grab some obsidian. And then I also am going to just do some strip mining while I'm down here. So if you don't know, we go down to Y11. You can see we're on 34 going down. And then I just skip three blocks and kind of go in different directions. So you can see I went in this direction and this direction. I'll skip three blocks and I'll go in this direction here as well. So uh, let's keep on mining and let's see what we can find. I'm back. I tore down a few houses that were here, mostly just to get them out of the way so we can put in a villager breeder right here because I think that's going to be something that we need to do. All of these guys, well, they need to uh, they need to go somewhere where they're not going to die. Y you can probably see that I uh, lit up the village quite a bit, but we still want to move these guys to a separate area. So let me move this enchanting table. I just basically put enchantments on all of my iron gear here. Started a farm, you know, the basics. And we're going to build a little villager breeder right here that is going to 
I think it's going to be down here, and it's going to drop the villagers down, and we'll have a villager trading hall somewhere else um, farther away from these guys. Alrighty, guys, it's been here a little bit. I'm using some brown dye that I got in the jungle to make some brown glass. I'm starting to get some villagers piled in here. We got beds from the village. I've kind of recycled them over here. And you see in these taiga villages, we actually get purple and blue beds, which is really awesome. And then I'm just trying to keep this build natural with some stone brick, some stripped spruce logs. And we're just going to put a pretty simple roof on this, I think. Um, this glass is here just so I can see out. And then the baby villagers are going to fall here. And we are going to move them further away from this thing so that we don't have to deal with any type of mob capping. Um, or anything like that, or village cap size, so um, that should be working. Let me craft a few more things. We need two more composters, and we need a few other workstations, so maybe like a fletching table or something like that in here, and this thing is going to start a work in once some uh, of these potatoes grow, so let's keep on working here. So this is how I'm getting all the villagers into their new homes. You just got to hit the bell, and they will run to their beds, so all I had to do was put a ton of beds in there, Oh, sorry, dude. I didn't let you in, did I? And they're going to track to these beds. And all I got to do is hit this bell. And they are going to all get scared. And they should all kind of run to their beds. So I think I got most of the villagers in this village, actually, um, going to their beds. I think that's the majority of them. So we're going to close that up for now. And uh, this breeder basically is working. We got potatoes in there. Once we get some food sources, everything should be right in there for them to start breeding. Um, so I added some stone brick variants up here to the front. Um, you can see there's still a few villagers around, but that's okay. We're going to be decorating this build a little bit as we go. Um, but the pod soil is really getting on my nerves. So we're going to have to kind of swap this stuff out and, and make this look a little better. I did do a little path here, and I think that looks okay. But yeah, we'll probably do that later. Um, so really now, I just need to do some clearing. Um, I really want to clear out the rest of this village so I can see what type of land I'm working with here. And we'll be able to plan out what we want to do. And also some strip mining needs to uh, happen. Um, but that is all the time that I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been really fun just getting started on here, having fun with all the people. Um, starting this villager breeder, I mean, this is way better off than I was on my last SMPs. It was w way easier to get them in there since I knew the villager, like, bell trick. Um, it was super, super easy, and this was a really nice village to, uh, get started on. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode on the Mind Guard SMP. Catch you guys later.